I'm really passionate about citrus. I've grown up in the industry. I've, ever since I was a little boy, walking down the orchard, you know, always I've known citrus my whole life. And the thing was, getting into blood oranges, we knew we had to try and differentiate ourselves. To grow navel and valencias in Australia, growing a worldwide commodity in such a high cost country, it just, I, I couldn't see the future in it. We had to try and differentiate. And, uh, we saw that blood oranges weren't really available uh, to the consumer in large quantities and it was really, um, really different levels of quality as well. So we sought to be able to provide a product that had that consistent supply and consistent quality. Uh, in our opportunities overseas, it's been something that has been part of our strategy just because of our sheer size. Uh, the issue has been that we've had to wait to critical mass before we could enter that market. So now, last year we started exporting juice into the US and now we're looking at fresh fruit sales into the US and to Korea. All of our uh, consumers out there and all of our, the buyers that, that want to retail their fruit are all online. They, that's how they find their products. And so if you don't have a presence on there, you're not going to be found. And we found that being is probably the number one step. Second step is, uh, apart from getting uh, that client side uh, website Interacting with the actual core consumer through social media has been critical as well. You know, you've got to take the, uh, your praise and the criticisms as, as much as you can through uh, social media and try to be able to convey your message and, and show people that you try hard, you, um, you love the product and you really want to try and make sure that consumers have a real positive outcome from what they do. We'll always have a, a, some sort of battle in our hands if it's uh, labour shortages, water, environmental, um, market access. We're always going to have challenges and it is, it's going to be very tough for a majority of farmers, especially if there's not that, the new blood coming into the industries. If you look at the citrus industry, I think the average age of a citrus grower is over 60. Now, it doesn't say much for the future. If you believe in yourself and believe in your product, you know, you've really got to be able to push and just look outside the square. There's, there is opportunities out there no matter what you, what, whatever you do.